Glad you're watching 7 News Live at 5. Tonight we're taking you to a city known as the Peach Capital of South Carolina. Has a lot more to offer than peaches, though. Christine Scarpelli, photographer Ryan Goodman, take us on a tour of Gaffney in this week's hometown spotlight. Call it crazy, but in the city of Gaffney, even the sun. Well, it's just part of our lives here. Rises peach. Have a sunny day. In what people call the peach capital of the state, there's someone up early. I get up at 1230. Every morning. With a name like his disposition, putting a less nutritious treat. I love, so enjoy the McDonald's. On the map. Georgia, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Japan. Yeah, tour from Japan. Sunny Pong came to the U.S. to escape genocide in Cambodia in the 1970s. I just walk days and day with no food. He and his wife Lane say those dark days are over. Quite the shining comeback story. Stay here and have a sunny day. Art. It validates me. The City Alliance of Visual Artists makes sure there's plenty of opportunity for it. Just to, to communicate with the other artists. Cindy Wilson leads the group in the city's old fallout shelter. She says it's a good way to remember Gaffney's historic roots. It's important to the city. It's important to everybody. And let loose. A little bit of fun along the way. Three, two, one. The commotion downtown so we are toasting to a sweet life has been hard to miss. It's been busy over there. Locals on lunch break can't help themselves. I, it's just funny. <laughs> Opening a small business, Sweet Life Creamery, a big deal. Trying to keep up with the machines that are spilling all over the floors. <laughs> For a village, joining forces to fill storefronts. Yes, we uh, actually got some napkins from Harold's across the street this morning. And uh, the peach shed provided the peaches for us. The peaches actually come from peach farms all over the Gaffney area. The farmers bring their crop here to roadside stands like this one at Abbott Farms. I'm third generation farmer. Abbott Farms is one of many with 100 plus acres of produce putting food on the table for families and serving up nostalgia. And we have so many people that come into the store and say, hey, you know, I used to pick peaches when I was young. Something you just can't find in a store. But they've heard so much about it that they come out and they try it and they're sold. In Gaffney, life's the peach. Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. I love the hometown spotlight, I do. That was great. The Peach Festival continues this weekend and next. Wraps up July 22nd. We have everything you need to know before you go at WSPA.com.